Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Daisy Party. In the last episode, we got done with a really crummy board of Koopa Seaside Soiree. In this episode, we're gonna have a much more heated experience when we head over to Bowser's Gnarly Party! And yeah, it's so gnarly, he has his own custom present box! It's a bright and sunny day in Bowser's Gnarly Party! I always gotta say it like Bowser's Gnarly Party. It looks so epic and awesome down there. And hey, Koba Kid is the host of this board. Peach is here, that's weird. Welcome to Bowser's Gnarly Party. I just went through puberty and I'm Koba Kid. It's, um, it's my board, I do what I want. I built this board to celebrate Master Bowser's greatness. You'll love it or I'll tell, or I'll tell on you. <laughs> Master Bowser is the best. If you don't see him now, you'll certainly see him later. Bwaha! Now decide the order. Oh, Koba Kid, I love you so much. You're the best character ever. And, oh, I thought I could ham you up to getting uh, to go first, but no. Going second again. Oh, well, Peach is going first. Ma Daisy second. Mario is third. And Wario is fourth. <laughs> Woohoo! I was really hoping there would be a setup of uh, Daisy, Luigi, Donkey Kong, and Yoshi. So we'd have like, like all four playable characters from the past four Mario Party LPs. But no, unfortunately not. I think you're ready to face me. Here's the first star, good luck getting there. All the way over there. Her, here's the star, if you don't have 20 coins, don't bother. And here's Bowser. Everybody hurry up and get him. <laughs> yeah, you don't actually wanna go to Bowser. If you go to Bowser, you straight up lose a star, which is really crummy. But if you go to Bowser when you have a Mega Mushroom, however, then you get to challenge him to a battle. Not a Bowser minigame, but a certain special Bowser event. You'll see when we actually uh, get to it. You at least get a fighting chance for your stuff, but sometimes it could still result in you losing stuff, which is really unfortunate. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Now, a lot of people always like to avoid playing the Bowser boards of all the Mario Party games because they're always the toughest, they're always filled with a lot of, like, annoying stuff, but I actually really like this Bowser board. It's really fun, and uh, a lot of stuff that I don't get to see all that often. Uh, there's a certain item that you can only get here, and, like, I feel like I've never seen it actually used before because, like, it's just so stinking rare. Good morning! Uh, wow, what a very anti-Bowser board or minigame. We got ourselves just ice and stuff. But yeah, the Bowser suit is what I'm referring to. Like, I think it's in this game. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, I see it in, like, I see artwork of it and I see it, um, I'm pretty sure it exists. But, like, I don't remember ever actually using it. Like, it's just so rare how it shows up. I might have to look up how you obtain it. I'm not entirely sure. And Mario's already frozen. And Wario's already frozen. Three for three? Oh, no, Peach. Oh, we could have gotten a thing. No way. Just skating on here, me and Peach. Let it go or something like that. Let it go or something like that. And the game just really didn't want to hear me sing that, so it stopped the minigame. Yeah, I can't believe it's all on the final board already. Like, oh, this LP game went so fast, but now, believe it or not, I didn't record the entire LP in one sitting. What a niche concept. I recorded it in two sittings. Yeah, even, like, not nearly as bad, but still kind of bad and stuff. Hopefully, we'll just have stuff to talk about. On the final board, Peach is gonna four. Hey, we broke the tradition, I just realized, of getting ones on the first turn. So that's nice, at least. We're off to a good start. Uh, let's see what we got here. What do you get? We got an item shop. Waha, this is the item shop. I don't have time, so just hurry and do something. I'm gonna view the map. No, I'm gonna buy an item. Uh, we got nothing of interest here. Okay, let's get out of here. What do you mean you're not gonna buy anything? No loitering, get out, out, out. <laughs> it just disappears, okay. Uh, this bridge right here, you can cross it three times before it breaks and then it changes to a different direction, so you'll be forced into a different direction. So it's sort of like the teacups with Toad, but you have a lot more open headway to get there because you could cross it three times before it changes uh, direction, which is very nice, but still probably for just like the last person to get through. And Mario's gonna buy something because he's Mario. He always gotta spend all that money. Mario just rolling in the money. It looks like he has devil horns in that, uh, the way that was all angled and stuff. And he's like, hmm, I might have crossed, but I go do it anyway. Cross it one more time, something bad's gonna happen. Well, no, you don't fall while crossing, it's just that it's gonna break after you cross it one last time. And no, it does not make any difference if you're mega or mini or anything like that. It's just uh, always three uh, treks across the track, or whatever you wanna call it. And Wario also looks like he has devil horns. 
And he doesn't get to cross it quite yet. Okay. At least I'm in first off to an early lead. Now let's follow it up with Candlelight Fright. Okay, thankfully he wasn't actually there. Making waves! I'm actually the one player in this game for once. Hooray! Oh yeah, uh, I see, like, I have a rotating background thing on my, uh, desktop. I have, like, just all my favorite games, uh, different wallpapers, so it just switches over and over. I just saw the Luigi's Mansion wallpapers on there right now, and that remind me, uh, Luigi's Mansion for 3DS finally got a release date. I don't know how to feel about it, honestly. Like, I just really hope they don't mess it up, because, like, they mess up Mario Party Top 100 so stinking horribly, so... I don't know what they're gonna do, like, I feel like they're gonna change something, like, make it easier or something? They're gonna, like change designs of things, I don't know what they're gonna do. They changed King Boo a bit, that I'm not entirely happy with how he looks in that game. Uh, but I don't know, and they changed the box, so like, they updated how Luigi looks and how the Boos look, but they didn't do anything else, like, they painted over the original box art with just, uh, HD Luigi, which looks really creepy, and then they gave Boo extra teeth, which looks creepy. But the regular, the other ghosts, they kept them the same, they didn't update them at all, which is weird, I don't understand it, but... I don't know, and I'm also interested as to whether or not this will be the last 3DS game, it seems like it, so I have four more 3DS games to get, I kind of hope it is the end of the 3DS just because it's time to move on and stuff. Um, but yeah, my last four 3DS games, Animal Crossing, Happy Home Design, right, I just sort of want it for the sake of having it, um, and it's uh, sort of cheap. Also with Yoshi's New Island, I've heard horror stories about it, so I know the music is god-awful, but like, maybe it'll be fun if I just have the volume off, like, I'm, I'm in the mood for a Yoshi's Island game, why not? So maybe it's fun if I just have the volume off. Um, and then WarioWare Gold, which I still haven't gotten. I wasn't planning on getting it, but then I found out that the game is fully voice acted, and I'm like, God, yes, that sounds amazing. A fully voice acted anything from Nintendo that's fully voice acted is just weird to me. So I'm really excited to play that because I, I want to experience it. A fully voice acted WarioWare game, that sounds really cool. So I really want to play that. And, uh, this one. And then the last game will be Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS. I really hope that is the last 3DS game so we can just move on from it. Uh, the 3DS had a really good sing and run. Like, I, had a, I have so many good memories with that system. Like, so many of my favorite games are from it. And it's just that, like, uh, my current 3DS is, like, it's seen better days. It doesn't look very good. I just, I would not want to have to buy another 3DS just because this one's, like, so worn out and stuff. Because that'd be kind of unfortunate. If I, if this one does end up breaking, then, like, I would probably get a 2DS, a new 2DS XL capture card, uh, setup thingy. I know I have the 3DS capture card, so, which is really important, speaking of the 3DS capture card, I feel like I had a dream that I found the 3DS capture card, but I haven't found it yet, but, <laughs> um, I, uh, meant to bring it with me so I could record Code of Princess, which is supposed to be the first LP of year seven, however, I don't have it with me, and I asked friends who could go check my place to see if it's in California and they can't find it either so that's scary as long as it's not my biggest concern right now is just whether or not it's lost like if I lost at the airport or something that would be very bad if it's not lost then I'm okay with that like if it's just in a bag somewhere they'll be fine but I'm just really concerned hey Mario gets to fight Bowser so since they're both mega they could go into a duel very classic setup of Mario versus Bowser and they're gonna be wrestling it out Bowser wrestling <laughs> the Koba kid down there is in gonna rest bounds. You press A to stomp him and shove L and R alternatively to push him out. So it's a very awkward to control thing. Shove him! Stomp him and then uh, Koba kid just gets knocked out, which looks really funny. Uh, I wonder who's gonna win. I have no idea, except obviously it's gonna be Bowser because you can't beat Bowser in a boxing match. Plus, it was an easy computer. So, does Mario lose anything or does he just keep on going? He must get something, or he must lose something because, come on, it's Bowser. Uh, he's going to steal money. Okay, cool. I lost! And there goes the bridge. Well, not entirely. There goes a third of the bridge. Woohoo! Uh, how far away am I from Bowser? Because I do not want to walk... Well, I don't even have... Oh, I just realized that. So, this might be the only board where you actually want to purchase Mega Mushrooms because it's good to have one with you in case you run into Bowser. Hmm, what a niche concept. I probably should have thought about that beforehand, before just saying no to everything in the shop. And Wario gets across the bridge, I don't know how he walked across that thing because his legs were like more spread apart than the bridge itself at that point, and that sounds very gross when taken out of context. Uh, I do have one chance to get a mushroom, so if I land on that space and get a mega, then we'll be good to go. Uh, also if you uh, get a star space, then Bowser switches locations as well. Uh, lucky minigame, what do we got? Can we get a triple? Yeah, triple! 
Uh, wait, what? What do you say? What a load of charcoal? <laughs> I guess he doesn't like that we're getting, uh, that we're gonna have more money. Slime time! New mini game. I was waiting for this one. This might be the last new mini game. I feel like. And it's just pressing A as fast as you can. <laughs> but yeah, it's a. I like the aesthetic of this one because it's got slime. It's like slime time live. It's like Nickelodeon slime. And yeah, I actually do got the Nickelodeon slime. I like that they have eyes. It's like everything Nintendo just has to have eyes. The clouds have eyes. The hills have eyes. Even the oxygen has eyes. Batman. There you go. Probably like, what, the oxygen has eyes, does have eyes. Like, maybe it does have eyes. Maybe like, it's just so incredibly massive that we don't see it. Maybe we're just a particle in the eye of another entity or a human being that we don't even get to see because we're just so minuscule and microscopic. Or something like that. It's like that episode of Chowder, how like it starts out with him like eating a gumball and like he goes screaming for some reason. And then like the rest of the episode just shows how he creates this giant gumball that like absorbs everyone and then it ends up in the same location that he eats and it just repeats itself all over again. And it's just like a big crazy mind blow moment. Uh, whatever. Chowder was like, I don't know, it's a good kids show, I'll say that much. And hello, Bowser. Uh, we're too small to, uh, play a game with him, so he's just gonna take half our coins and call it a day. Oh, Made her cry on your birthday. Come on, Bowser, even you can't be that cruel. Even though we just did it. Watch this be a mega. It's a mega, of course it is. Just kicking you in the face, but yeah. Uh, Chowder is a kid's show, I'll say that much. Like, I enjoyed it as a kid, but, like, um, nowadays I can see just how so annoying it is. Like, I went on this rant earlier in the LP how I hate repeat humor. And that's all that show was, was repeat humor. How it just like repeated things over and over and over again. Think it was funny because it got repeated over and over again. It was not fun. Oh my god. Like, I just like, I think back of that show because like I had good memories of it. But then like, I think of it now and I'm just like, my god, this was horrible. <laughs> oh jeez, whatever. And he takes that. I think that was like around the time when I stopped watching Cartoon Network. So it was around that era. Because like I never watched, what was that? It was Flapjack. I don't know it was with all these shows uh, starring kids with food names. Uh, but whatever. Uh, I never watched Flapjack, because, like, it was just, uh, also really gross stuff. Like, it just, it had the same Spongebob humor at the time, where, like, I'll just zoom in on random scenes and have really gross things for you to look at. And, like, why do you keep doing that? I have no idea. It's just really stupid. So, that was around the time where I stopped watching Cartoon Network, and then Steven Universe happened, and I was like, oh, hey, uh, American cartoons could still be good. That's amazing. Uh, let's see, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Long call, long call the law! I always like to say it like that. Uh, who's wanted? Shy Guy's wanted! Yeah, you're wanted, you're wanted as a playable character. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, nothing. Oh, Shy Guy's down there, come on. Come on. Come on, there you go. I think I was just still looking around while we're pulling him away. Uh, okay, uh, Shy Guy's up here. There you go. And I presume you're down here? Yes, you are. That was very quick and easy. Daisy's the winner! Look at this shy guy party. Sounds like under the sea, but I'm not gonna sing it because we had too much of that in Earthbound. It's a new era of Let's Plays from Midnight and Beyond, so everything old goes thrown out the window, and now it's something entirely new, except not really because we're still making the same 69 obsessions. And stuff. Alright, something weird about this board is that the... Like, those spaces, you can never go back to them again. Like, if you look over here... Uh, the start space... Well, I guess you can, but like, you can never end up back here... Unless some sort of event happens. I don't know if there's an event on this board that takes you back to start. Maybe there is, I have no idea, but... Like, this, these Bowser spaces and, hap and chance time, we can never get them again, basically, which is really weird. And like, was that where the start space was to begin with? No, it was, it was over here! Why are there two start spaces? What? Ooh? I don't get it. Hmm. Huh. I'll have to think about that. I actually don't know. Uh, but anyway... Okay, we're just gonna get no no point in using the Mega Mushroom right now. Just run across here, and now the star space is opened up. Unfortunately, yay! Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I mean, now we see those or five turns in. Mario uses his Mega Mushroom. Uh, 
a 10 and a 7. 17 again. Uh, let's see, so there's that, but like, I honestly don't know how to get to that other start space. Really interesting. It probably has to do with like the Bowser suit that I'm remembering. Remembering all too well, except not really, because it, I don't remember ever actually using it. You just gotta find the legendary fabled Bowser suit. <laughs> Mario goes mega. I'm gonna look up to see, I'm gonna look up real quick to see like, how do I get the Bowser suit? Uh, Mario Wiki. This is a great thing to be doing during an LP. I could just have Teresa tell you, but no, nah, I'll give her a break this time around. Uh, Bowser suit. Uh, that's not what I want. It is in Mario Party 4. Uh, let's see, Mario Party 4, players can acquire, can only acquire a Bowser suit by landing on a Bowser space. And even then, the chances of getting one are super rare. Waluigi is even pictured holding it in the box art of Mario Party 4. Oh, that's where I see it from. It strongly resembles a mushroom that functions similar to the appearance of Mario Party 2, except that a player using Bowser suit steals 30 coins from passing the opponent instead of 20. Additionally, if a player wearing a suit passes Bowser on Bowser's gnarly party, they will get 50 coins. And if a player wearing a suit passes Ookity's banana peeled junction on Koopa Seaside Soiree, they could choose their direction. You could get Bowser suits on other sinking spaces on other boards? I thought it was only in Mario Party... what you might call it? I thought it was only in this specific board. And another lucky mini game. Okay. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait. You could choose the direction. Okay. What I want to see is like, what does the Bowser suit look like? That's what I want to know. Because like, in the olden days, it's just like, the character's head on top of Bowser's body. Like, is it the same like that? I never saw that GameCube iteration that has always just been the N64 version. I must see the new generation of Bowser suits! Huh, I'm sorry that took so long to get through, but like, I was just curious. <laughs> so you get it through Bowser's spaces, and it's not exclusive to, uh, this, the Bowser's gnarly party. That's interesting, so... I just gotta hopefully get some Bowser spaces, I guess. I don't know. And like, it's funny that Bowser gives you coins if you are in his suit when you pass him. He's like, hey, looking good, pal. I'll give you 50 coins. That'd be funny. Uh, but we'll never get to experience that funniness, most likely. If I got that locomotive thing to work, I could get anything to work. So let's not be too negative right off the bat. Let's go ahead and just do our best and try and get ourselves a Bowser suit. Or at least have someone get the Bowser suit. We're working together to show it off for this LP. Uh, let's see. Get that. Get the ring. Uh, I'm pretty sure I went on the night Super N64 ring rant already, so I don't need to repeat that again. Uh, hello. Okay. Big ol' eel. And, like, the crabs are just, like, waving their little flags. I'm a crab. Hur hur. Not the side stuff, for whatever reason. It's just, like, an actual realistic-looking crab. Get more corns. 63. No star yet. But as I've just now discovered, I don't need any coins to buy a Bowser suit from a shop. 